on speed limit sign inside big green briars right here. There's a little path right here to the right of it. Take us over to Frederick Husky's old place and his son's place. And we'll just go check out the, check out the path. Hard to tell across the creek right here, but there's actually no road bed going right up the creek. Late in the afternoon, but uh, leaves are starting to fall on the old trail here next to the speed limit sign. Take you to Frederick Husky's graveyard. And I'm out right here where the trail crosses the creek. Little path to the left here. Used to, you can already see it this time of year, you can see it pretty good. And about About a 30 yard walk back through here. And you can see one of the four standing chimneys in the briar. This is Big Green Briar off Highway 321. This little branch is called Ted's Branch. And you can see the chimney right there. It's in the center of the house, so it's got uh, <coughs> rooms on both sides. And you got part of the old stove. Most people wouldn't recognize it. There's actually a dugout in the bank over there for the old dry cellar. And at this point, you can actually kind of see the old road bed on the other side of the creek, going up the creek. <coughs> and this is the old spring house. And it needs a little bit of work. <coughs> Dug out the bank right here. The old road bed goes up the bank. That's the creek up the hill. There used to be another chimney standing up there, which is falling over now. Another house, but that's uh, what I call it Ted's Branch Road. And it goes up the hill and up over the ridge and forks back there at a couple of creeks. And, and uh, a little piece of stove. <coughs> so this is just a short little quarter mile walk for anybody who has relatives who can't do any kind of big hike and hey, most people don't, don't even know it's here gotta watch out for snakes this time of year but it's not too bad huh. so we come back down and crossed the creek and came up the hill a little bit and this little flat area back in here there's actually holes in there where they used to plant potatoes. We're on what old, old times called Taylor Ridge. And uh, this path goes up the hill about 50 yards. A little steep, but it uh, goes up to Frederick Husky Cemetery. You come about 100 yards up the hill. And we're at the very pretty unique uh, rectangular shaped uh, there's Rose Husky and Grace Dooley and there's a couple other graves right here I think maybe you know Glenn Cardwell who mayor of Pittman Center who passed away a year and a half ago and his wife Grace is a granddaughter of Frederick Husky so we got Frederick Husky here and his wife, who was Lindsay. Buried right here in their farm. Their daughter, who was married to Lindsay Wanby, Engine Creek. 
Then we got the babies here. Move some leaves out of the way. Oliver and Eve. So we got a couple of nineteen twenty-nine graves. A nice view of the whole valley here when it's all cleaned off at one time. And pretty much looking straight across the river to Alonzo Husky Cemetery, which is another sign of Frederick, whose house sit down here in the bottom of the field next to where the parking lot is for going across the road. And we had a couple of tree limbs falling here, but for the most part, it's pretty good. And so, three adults and a bunch of babies, and right here on the old farm, and And a couple of babies out this way, and probably a few graves in between. Stones are missing. And you can follow that path right there. Go to the next flat spot where the chimney is. It used to be about 10 feet high, now it's only about 3 feet high, but it's, it's there. And there's a path next to the little rock wall over there. And it goes up around the hill and uh, dies up and goes down the ridge down in the gully back to Engine Creek. And that's where. Frederick's daughter was married to one of the Hornbys over there, <coughs> an uncle of my grandmother's. And we just walked back down the hill. <laughs>